Santa Maria, Tagalog pronunciation, Snur Maya, officially the municipality of Santa Maria, Tagalog, Bayan ng Santa Maria, is a first-class municipality in the province of Bulacan, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 256,454 people, representing 7.8% of the population of the province. Located on the banks of the Santa Maria River, 32 kilometers (19.9 miles) north of Manila, Santa Maria has been a thriving settlement for almost four centuries. It was founded as a barrio of Bacaui in the early 17th century until it was established as an independent municipality on November 26, 1793, by the Spanish friar Francisco Dominguez Javier O.F.M. Known before as Santa Maria de Pondi, Tagalog pronunciation, Pienda, it is named under the patronage of the Immaculate Conception, also known as La Parisima Concepcion. Its administrative center, the Poblacion, forms as the historic core of the municipality. It is surrounded by four rivers and it still largely retains its 2.88 square kilometer boundaries since the Spanish colonial era. Santa Maria, with a population of 256,454, remains by a significant margin the most populous municipality in central Luzon, as well as the fifth most populous municipality in the Philippines. Its downtown area, known as the Santa Maria Central Business District, consists of three, three highly urbanized barangays, Poblacion, Bagbaguan, and Santa Clara. It is one of the biggest and busiest commercial centers in the province as it accounts for more than half of all economic activities in the municipality. It is also one of Bulacan's leading financial centers. According to the Banco Central ng Pilipinas BSP, and the Philippine Deposit Insurance Corporation PDIC, Santa Maria. S total bank deposits reached 19.82 billion Philippine pesos as of September 2017. This accounts for almost 75% of Eastern Bulacan's total bank deposits. Likewise, Santa Maria is the richest municipality in Bulacan with an assets totaling to 1 billion Philippine pesos and revenues reaching an all-time high of 560 million Philippine pesos as of the 2016 report from the Commission on Audit COA. It has a relatively high standard of living, with only 4% of the population living in poverty which is one of the lowest in the country, 19 out of 1,489 municipalities. In 2015, Santa Maria with a score of 42.1807 was ranked second among all municipalities in the country in the overall municipalities competitiveness index issued by the National Competitiveness Council of the Philippines. Santa Maria was the hometown of Jose Corazon de Jesus, a Filipino poet popularly known as Husang Batchut, who started composing his verse as a child. Another native of Santa Maria is Francisco Santiago, a composer who wrote Nisan Ka Arag and other Kundiman songs. In the political arena, Santa Maria has produced three Bulacan governors, Jose Serapio, 1900-1901, Trinidad Icasano, 1912-1916, Fortunato Halili, 1943-1944 and 1946-1951, and two representatives of the 2nd and 4th District, Rigaciano Mercado, 1953-1992, and Raylina Nicholas, 2001-2010. Etymology Santa Maria got its name from the Immaculate Conception, also known as La Parisima Concepcion. History Pre-colonial before 1521 before the Spaniards came to the Philippines, Santa Maria was just a vast wilderness, inhabited by wild animals and covered by thick and lush rainforests. Adis and Dumagots are also known to inhabit the place a long time ago. Spanish era 1521-1898 Santa Maria's existence can be traced as early as the year 1647 when it is still a barrio village of Bacaui. The barrio was believed to be established on the same period when the Dominicans founded the vast Hacienda de Lalamboy that extends up to the Angat River on the north, Bacaui River on the west, Marilao River on the south and the Pulo River, Pulong Buhangan, on the east. Santa Maria was founded as an independent town by the Franciscan Fray Francisco Dominguez Javier on November 26, 1793. 
He began constructing the church which was completed in the early 1800s by Fray Tomás Martí. The construction of the church was viewed as the foundation of the spiritual crusade in the said locality. Natives were converted into Christianity and more people began to inhabit the place. Civil affairs started to take shape and the appointment of the first Capitan del Barrio, Andres de la Cruz, paved way for the permanent establishment of Poblacion, which was the seat of Spanish colonial government. People in those days were just renting their pieces of land. They paid their rents to the friars who were stationed in what is now known as Santa Clara, a barangay where at present one can see the ruins of a big convento of friars. People from other nearby places such as Balagtas, Pondi, Santa Maria, and San Jose del Monte, paid their rents in this convento. Santa Maria at that time was then called Santa Maria de Pondi. The people acquired their lands after paying certain sum to the friars and the land became Luping Tagalog. There were 82 capitanes who served the Spanish colonial administration from 1793 to 1899. American era and Japanese occupation 1898 to 1946 Under the Americans the title captain was changed to presidente The first to hold the position was Maximo Evident who served from 1899 to 1900 of the twelve others who succeeded him, the most popular were Agustin Morales (1928–34) and Fortunato F. Halili (1934–37). Morales was responsible for the construction of the first main water system in the town. Halili, who never drew his salary as executive, later on became governor of Bulacan. It was during Halili's term as provincial governor when the capital building at Malolos was heavily damaged due to the aftermath of World War II. He decided to take over and resurge Casa Real de Malolos as a temporary gubernatorial office during the period when the capital building was severely damaged. It was his effort to rebuild and to reconstruct the capital building into its original structure. During the Japanese occupation, Dr. Teofilo Santiago, dubbed as Dr. Komodin Cahoy for his widespread campaign among the town's citizenry to plant cassava, became mayor of Santa Maria. Santiago was also responsible for the launching of the poultry industry, a livelihood project which earned for the town the distinction of being the egg basket of the Philippines. He was also the father of Santa Maria Dairy Plant. After the liberation, Capitan Irenio Hermogenes was appointed municipal mayor from March 20, 1945 to October 1945. He was succeeded by Marciano Bautista. From the American colonial rule until the Restoration period after World War II, Santa Maria was administered by 12 presidentes from 1899 to 1937 and four alcaldes from 1938 to 1947. Liberation period 1947 present. The post-liberation period saw Conrado Ignacio as the first elected mayor of Santa Maria 1947-1955. He was succeeded by prominent personalities in Santa Maria local politics such as Ricardo G. Nicolas Sr. 1956-1959-1964-1967, Heriberto Ramos Sr. 1960-1963, Paulino M. Luciano Sr. (1968–1971), Ricardo D. Nicholas Jr. (1972–1978), and Paulino Luciano Jr. (1979–1986). After the People Power Revolution in February 1986, President Corazon Aquino appointed Drive. Alfredo Perez, who was then the vice mayor of the town, as officer in charge of the municipality until May, 1986, when he was replaced by Ricardo Nicolas Jr. In December 1986, however, Nicolas was appointed OIC vice governor of Bulacan and was succeeded by Benjamin G. Geronimo, 1987-1988, and Addy. Ramon H. Clemente, 1988. During the 1988 elections, Heriberto Ramos was elected mayor and served until June 30, 1992. On July 1, 1992, he was succeeded by Raylina G. Nicholas. Her three terms of leadership gave the municipality various awards and citations. 
In July 1, 1993, the municipality rose from third class to second class municipality and July 1, 1996, the income level of the municipality rose again from second class municipality to first class municipality. In the 2001 elections, Nicholas ran for representative of the 4th Congressional District of Bulacan and won a landslide victory with more than 80,000 votes over her closest rival. Nicholas was succeeded by Bartolomé R. Ramos. During the 2004 elections, Jesus Mateo defeated the incumbent Ramos and became mayor of the municipality until 2007. One of Mateo's accomplishments as mayor of Santa Maria was the establishment of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, Santa Maria Extension Campus in 2005. In 2007 elections, Bartolomé R. Ramos defeated Mateo and became mayor of the municipality again. Geography The municipality of Santa Maria lies 32 kilometers 20 miles northeast of Manila and is located at the eastern portion of Bulacan. The town is bounded on the north by the municipalities of Angad and Pondi, portion of San Jose del Monte City on the south, Norzagaray and other portions of San Jose del Monte on the east, and the municipalities of Marilao and Bacaui on the western side. Santa Maria is 18 kilometers 11 miles away from Malolos City, the provincial capital, and 38 kilometers 24 miles from San Fernando, Pampanga, the regional center of central Luzon. Santa Maria has a land area of about 9,092.5 hectares, 22,468 acres. The town is generally plain although hilly at the northern portion. It has a lone body of water, the Santa Maria River. The topography of Santa Maria is generally flat, however, it is becoming hilly towards the north. This area covers the barangays of Salangan, Magasawang Sapa, Pulong Buhangan and some parts of Balasing with landscape ranging from 8 to 18% slope. The rest of the barangays have a slope range from level to undulating. Most of the barangays in the municipality of Sta. Maria have low susceptibility to flooding. Those with portion with moderate to high susceptibility to flooding are located along the Sta. Maria River and near or adjacent to creeks that are tributaries of the Sta. Maria River. There are 18 barangays with low susceptibility to flooding in the municipality, Mongahan, Sta. Cruz, Capombo, Casio, Pulong Buhangan, Magasawang Sapa, Salangan, Balasing, Parada, Tumana, Mahabang Parang, Bulak, Katman, San Vicente, Camanganan, Sto. Tomas, Buenavista and San Gabriel. The barangay centers and populated areas in the barangays have low susceptibility to flooding. The portions of the barangays usually inundated are the generally low-lying areas and catchment areas of the barangays and near active creeks and rivers. Land use Basically agricultural, about 29.02 square kilometers 11.20 square miles or 30.54% of the town's land area is devoted to crop production. Approximately 26.66 square kilometers 10.29 square miles of riceland in Santa Maria are rain-fed and 2.36 square kilometers 0.91 square miles are irrigated. An area of 32.74 square kilometers, 12.64 square miles are classified as non-productive agricultural area or open grasslands. Mineral resources. The town has rich deposits of gravel and sand and volcanic tuff or adobe. Quarrying has been a good source of livelihood among the citizens. Climate Due to its location near Metro Manila, rainfall and climate in Santa Maria is almost similar to the country's capital Manila. The location of Santa Maria in the western side of the Philippines made Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration to classify its weather scheme as Type 1 wind coming from the Pacific Ocean is generally blocked by the Sierra Madre mountain range, a few kilometers east of the municipality. Its proximity to the equator tends to make its temperature to rise and fall into very small range, from as low as 19 degrees Celsius. 66 degrees Fahrenheit to as high as 35 degrees Celsius 95 degrees Fahrenheit. 
The Köppen climate system classifies Santa Maria climate as tropical monsoon AM due to its location and precipitation characteristics. This means that the municipality has two pronounced seasons, dry and wet seasons. The municipality's driest months are from November to April where it receives less than 60 mm in, of rainfall. On the other hand, maximum rain period is from June to September where it receives not more than 600 mm in, of rainfall. Hail and snow is not observed in the municipality. Humidity levels are usually high in the morning, especially during June to November, which makes it feel warmer. Lowest humidity levels are recorded in the evening during wet season. Discomfort from heat and humidity is extreme during May and June, otherwise it is higher compared to other places in the country. Average sunlight is maximum at 254.25 hours during April and minimum at 113 hours during July, August and September. Barangays Santa Maria is composed of 24 barangays, the smallest administrative unit in the municipality. A barangay is equivalent to American village and British ward, and is headed by the barangay captain Punong barangay, and his council Kagawit, duly elected by the residents. Demographics in the 2015 census, the population of Santa Maria, Bulacan, was 256,454 people, with a density of 2,800 inhabitants per square kilometer or 7,300 inhabitants per square mile. It is the largest among the municipalities in the central Luzon region in terms of population. According to the 2010 census, the population of Santa Maria grew by 74,069 from 144,282 in 2000 to 218,351 in 2010, making it the third biggest LGU in Bulacan in terms of population. The municipality had a population density of 2,401.44 persons per square kilometer in 24 barangays. Religion. The majority of the population are Christians. Roman Catholicism is the dominant religion with 91% of the populace professed themselves as Roman Catholics. Santa Maria is under the jurisdiction of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Malolos. There are seven parishes and one quasi-parish in Santa Maria namely, Immaculate Conception, Poblacion, Santa Maria, Bulacan, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, Pulong Buhangan, Sta. Maria, Bulacan, Sto. Niño, Parada, Sta. Maria, Bulacan, Saint Gabriel the Archangel, San Gabriel, Sta. Maria, Bulacan, Holy Family, Catman, Sta. Maria, Bulacan, Saint John the Evangelist, Bagbagwan, Sta. Maria, Bulacan, Blessed Sacrament, K. Pombo, Sta. Maria, Bulacan and San Isidro Labrador, Partida, Pulong Buhangan, Sta. Maria, Bulacan, Quasi Parish. The majority of villages in each barangays have their own chapel and patron saint. Other religious groups with strong presence in the municipality are the following Members Church of God International, Iglesia Ni Cristo, United Methodist Church, The Church of God, Jehovah's Witness, Jesus as Lord Church, and other evangelical or born again groups, Pentecostal, Islam, and others. Residential There are about 45 subdivisions in the municipality of low, medium and high density category. The existing residential hub occupies 1,360 hectares square kilometers of land distributed unevenly in its 12 barangays. These subdivisions used to occupy the stretch of the roads but now they are now developing the inner portions of their barangays. It is expected that within the next 10 years, land use development in Santa Maria will represent the sub-urban mix which means that the government will provide development where the level of accessibility is very high. This will provide for the clustering of lower density land uses to help meet housing, employment and public services needs of the people. Economy Santa Maria is one of the municipalities in Bulacan with a high population growth rate due to in-migration. 
Its rapid population growth contributes largely to the establishment of more commercial and trading activities as some people see this as an opportunity for business. Industries in Santa Maria include agribusiness, food processing, cottage making, banking, fireworks making, rubber, and textile making. The public market at Poblacion and the private market in Pulong Buhangan are the major areas for the exchange of goods and services. On March 3, 2003, President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo issued Presidential Proclamation No. 337 designating the Santa Maria Industrial Park as a Special Economic Zone Agriculture Rice, orchard products, corn, vegetables, hogs, cattle, and poultry, and freshwater fish are the major agricultural products of the municipality. Food processing There are about 36 food processing establishments in Santa Maria. Agro-industrial sector Industrial activities in Santa Maria are mostly agro-based. For the past two decades, there has been a great boom in its poultry and hog raising industries. Presently, there are around more than 150 poultry and piggery farms. The boost in agri-business necessitated the establishment of feed mills and feed trading centers. There are eight commercial feed mills and 15 feed trading centers operating in the town. There are 20 rice mills in Santa Maria that accommodate the milling and storage needs of the farmers for their Pele harvest. Cottage industry There are 10 furniture-making establishments in the town. Others There are 28 pyrotechnics manufacturers, 5 textile, 87 garment factories, and 9 rubber industries operating in the municipality. Local government Like other municipalities in the Philippines, Santa Maria is governed by a mayor and vice mayor who are elected to three-year terms. The mayor is the executive head who leads the municipality's departments in the implementation of municipal ordinances and in the delivery of public services. The vice mayor heads a legislative council that is composed of ten members, eight councillors and two ex-officio officers, one for the Sangguniang Kabatan Federation President, representing the youth sector, and one for the Association of Barangay Chairman President as the Barangay Sectoral Representative. The council is in charge of creating the municipality's policies in the form of ordinances and resolutions. Santa Maria is part of the 4th District of Bulacan. Government officials List of mayors Tourism Santa Maria is home to 10 resorts located in Barangays Pulong Buhangan, Balasang, Katman, Bulac, Mahaving Parang, Tumana and Lalacan. These resorts have become the main destinations of the residents from Metro Manila and Santa Maria's nearby towns for their leisure and summer experience. Facilities like swimming pools, convention, seminar rooms, hotel, cottages, and spacious parking spaces that could accommodate 50 buses at a time equip these resorts. Some resorts accommodate local and foreign tourists for live-in accommodations. In 2005, over 138,000 tourists visited the resorts in Santa Maria. Sitio Lucia Resort situated in Pulong Buhangan attracted 36% of the total volume of resort visitors. 4K Garden Resort of Barangay Katman came next with 29% share. The summer resort in Barangay Mahabang Parang settled at the bottom with 2% contribution. Historical places La Parisima Concepcion Parish Church Husang Batute Marker Francisco Santiago Marker Festivals The town fiesta of Santa Maria in honor of its patroness, the Parisima Concepcion is a month-long celebration in February which clearly shows the Marian devotion of the town. 
The movable feast is held on the Thursday after February 2 which tradition refers to as La Candelaria. It is preceded by the traditional novena of masses before the feast and high masses and processions on the Sundays of the month. For the Visparas, over a dozen brass bands enters the town towards the Poblacion from Bagbagwan in the morning. A la torre or homage of the bands to the Virgin at 12 noon and a parade of all the bands on the streets of the Poblacion in the afternoon. In the evening, the church patio is filled with people for the serenata. On the day of the fiesta itself, the Misa Pontifical or concelebrated Mass is the highlight of the Masses which begins at dawn and is followed by the procession of the Parisima in the morning and in the evening. The high Masses and processions are repeated during the succeeding Sundays. Throughout the month several other events are held such as musical variety shows led by popular personalities, outdoor sports exhibitions of nationally acclaimed players, concerts by well-known bands and cultural shows. Most notable during the month of February is the availability of the famous Tuge, a ready-to-eat root crop sold by vendors that signify the ambiance of the festivity together with the cool breeze which last right after the celebration of the town fiesta. The joyous celebration of February takes on a somber mood as the liturgical calendar moves on to Quaresma or Lent. In Santa Maria, the solemn commemoration begins not on Palm Sunday but a week before that. The Church of La Purissima Concepcion holds the annual Solemni Septenario or seven-day devotion in honor of La Virgin Esperanza. It ends on Viernes de Dolores or the Friday before Palm Sunday. The highlight of the feast is the Misa Pontifical followed by the Besamanos or kissing of the Virgin's hand in the morning and the procession of the Virgin Macarena under Palio in the evening which is known as Via Matras. During this procession, the Virgin makes seven stops to specific houses and high up on a balcony, a tenor and a soprano sing the dialogue of Christ and the Virgin. They are assisted by a choir and a brass band. Apparently, the devotion was brought by the Franciscans who evangelized the town where the principal celebrations before the war was celebrated at the Lord's Church which was then in Intramuros. Lost during the war, it was revived by the Hermandad y Cofradia de la Sagrada Pasión y de María Santísima de la Esperanza, a confraternity organized in 1999 to spearhead the revival and promotion of the Lenten traditions of Santa Maria from the Jubilee year 2000 onwards. Incidentally, the Hermandad de la Sagrada Pasión has been an affiliate of the Hermandad de la Macarena in Seville, Spain since 2008 making it the 21st confraternity to be recognized, the second outside of Spain and the first in Asia. The procession of Holy Wednesday and Good Friday features close to 40 pasos de misterios or carrozas and draws a huge crowd as spectators and participants as heirlooms images and newly commissioned ones are brought out. What sets it apart from other Samana Santa processions in the province is not so much the number of carrozas, but the solemnity and decorum on how it is done. The Hermandad de la Sagrada Pasión is the first in the province to have initiated the narration of the Passion in dramatized form as the Pasos are brought out to the streets. This is a rite that was eventually copied by the rest of the towns in Bulacan. Pavilion Within the heart of Santa Maria is a new pavilion that was built and completed on February 2006. It is now the central pillar of all happy family celebrations that catered to all its citizen and neighboring town folks. Its famous name, Casa Burgos, was derived from one of the three famous Spaniard friars collectively known as Gomberza, which was also the origin of an old street's name in Santa Maria, namely Padre Burgos Street, now see Ignacio Street. Visitors and guests are awed by its lush and beautiful garden setting that became the focal point of most garden weddings and the likes. A place to visit when you are in Santa Maria, Bulacan. Another pavilion was later built at Barangay Bagbagwan. It is much larger than Casa Burgos and can cater to a larger number of people. It has an ample parking space, and has a smaller pavilion for smaller groups. The place was called Grace Harbor. Sports and recreation The Philippine Arena is a multipurpose indoor arena at Ciudad de Victoria, a 75-hectare tourism enterprise zone located in the towns of Santa Maria and Bacaui, Bulacan. With a capacity of up to 55,000, it became the largest domed indoor arena in the world upon its completion. 
It was the centerpiece of the Iglesia Ni Cristos, Inc. Centennial, which was celebrated on July 27, 2014. Sports and recreation activities in the locality are usually basketball, softball, bowling, badminton, tennis and chess. The most common sports and recreational facilities in the town are basketball courts located in school compounds and in other part of 24 barangays. These courts also serve as multipurpose pavements. A tennis court and a gymnasium named after the late Ricardo D. Nicolas Jr. was constructed at the FFHNAS campus in Barangay Gayong. There are also two badminton courts in the town. Shopping Santa Maria has one public wet and dry market, the Pamilihang Bayan ng Santa Maria, in Poblacion and several private wet and dry markets, one each in Cape Pombo and in Pulong Buhangan. Walter Mart Santa Maria, the first shopping mall in the municipality, formally opened on February 25, 2009. The mall is located in Barangay Santa Clara. The mall has a supermarket, Walter Mart Supermarket, Kiosks, Jr. Mem Express, Department Store, Me Department Store, School and Office Supplies Store Expressions, Bookstore, National Bookstore, Drugstore, Mercury Drug, Three State-of-the-Art Cinemas, Hardware, Handyman, and several restaurants, Jollibee, KFC, Chowking, Mangai Nasal, Greenwich, etc. Aside from Waltermart, Santa Maria has several supermarkets and convenience stores in Barangays Poblacion and Bagbaguan, Pure Gold Santa Maria which opened last December 18, 2010 and SM Savemore. There are four, four branches of Mercury Drug, 44711, 2, 2, Mini Stop and Mini Marts like Rebi's Store, C.P. Pineda Supermarket, E. Polito Supermarket, Antonio. S. Mini Mart, etc. Infrastructure Bridges As of 2004, Santa Maria has a network of 10 10 bridges passing rivers and other waterways of the town. All are made of reinforced concrete design girders which are in good condition and passable. Communications Communication facilities in Santa Maria are provided by Government Telegraph, Butyl, Postal System, the Philippine Long Distance and Telephone Company, PLDT, Radio City Telephone Company, RACITELCOM, Digitel Telephone Company, the three major cellular companies, Smart Communications, Globe Telecom, Sun Cellular, and 2MBNO, Talk in Text and Touch Mobile. Water Water supply is provided by LWUA Local Water Utilities Administration through the Santa Maria Water District. Electricity The Manila Electric Company, Maralca, is the sole electric distributor in Santa Maria. Basic services Health Santa Maria has one government-run hospital and seven private hospitals. Animal health Santa Maria also have veterinary clinics and an animal pet corner center. These veterinary clinics handle farm animals and pets. Services range from simple to major surgeries, microchip implantation, vaccinations, laboratory works, confinements, emergency cases, and grooming. Peace and order Santa Maria is generally peaceful being served by 51 policemen and 15 firemen. The backlog of manpower requirement is complemented with 480 barangay tenants coming from 24 barangays. Crime incidence is low with 37 cases reported and 33 cases were solved resulting to 89.19% crime solution efficiency. Education Santa Maria is part of Division of Bulacan under the Department of Education Dept. There are 32 public elementary schools and 5 public secondary schools in the municipality. The public schools are divided into 3 educational districts for representative purposes. Private schools can also be found in the municipality. There are 2 tertiary institutions in the municipality. 
The Polytechnic University of the Philippines operates a campus in Santa Maria. Notable people Jose Corazon de Jesus, 1896-1932, Husang Bachut, Filipino poet. Dr. Vicente de Jesus, the first Filipino director of health and the father of Jose Corazon de Jesus. Francisco Santiago, 1889-1947, Ama ng Cundiman. Jose Serapio, the first civil governor of Bulacan from 1900-1901. Fortunato Halili, Governor of Bulacan from 1948 to 1951. Rigaciano Mercado, 1916-1989, a veteran legislator who served under five presidents of the Philippines from Magsaysay to Aquino. Minister of Public Works under President Corazon C. Aquino until November 1986. Michelle Aldana Heinerman, a Filipina model, actress, and beauty queen. She was crowned Mutia ng Pilipinas and Miss Asia Pacific International in 1993. Mariel Salvador, real name, Ma. Cecilia Banaked, film actress and TV personality from German Moreno's That's Entertainment, during the 1990s. Aaron Junatas, born 1998, child actor, AB CBN. Jelena Marie B. Reyes, born 1996, a child actress, also known as Crystal Reyes Angel Loxon, born 1985, actress, commercial model Leopoldo. Pohl. Caguiat, 1946-2004, GMADZBB reporter and former municipal councilor Alfred Vargas, born 1981, actor Lilia Reyes, soprano Maine Mendoza, born 1995, also known as Yaya Dub, and one of the co-hosts of Eat Bulaga. Sister cities These are Santa Maria's sister cities with strong relationship and partnership. Milton, Ontario, Canada, since July 6, 1999. See also Fortunato F. Halili Avenue Legislative Districts of Bulacan Pulong Buhangan National High School Notes References External links Santa Maria, My Kind of Town Official website of the Municipality of Santa Maria, Bulacan Santa Maria Map Philippines Google Satellite Maps NSCB, ActiveStats, PSGC Interactive, Municipality, Santa Maria Philippine Census Information Philippine Standard Geographic Code